You know, there are times when a movie would come out and I would say to myself, what the hell did I just watch? In a not so positive review way. Hosts, horror movie on Shudder, is one of those movies. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to Horror and Coffee, where I drink coffee and talk horror. That's kind of how it works here. Tap on that bell for future notifications. ding a ling a ling a ling a ling Dang it. So I'm going to try to make this one quick because to be honest with you, I'm very, very disappointed at what I just saw. I, I, I'm, I'm not happy right now. It's one of those movies that make you go, what? Hosts came out and it's a movie directed by two people, Adam Leader and Richard Oakes. To be honest with you, I don't know if these guys are just friends that decided to come together and just say, hey, let's make a movie or something and give give the horror community something to like, you know, bug out about and give it that good shock value. All right, let me let me set the stage for you here. OK, the movie is about, I think, demonic forces that have been unleashed on the earth. Right. And that they're out there to take over the world because it was taken away from them by, I guess, God or something, right? But I'm not sure. It starts with a couple. Guy comes home to his, you know, his lady, and they're chatting, you know, and they're talking. And then she hears some noise outside. He goes to investigate. And then when he comes back in, he finds his wife, I think it's his wife, on the bed with her mouth open and a lot of light coming out of it. I'm telling you, if this is, you know, it, it, from all the other demonic possession movies I've seen, this one was a very unique form of it, but I didn't buy it. So later, this same couple, both of them now are potentially possessed, I guess, by these forces, right? These blue spirits um, go visit a family. I guess it's next door or whatever. And they're having dinner with this family and... Everybody's at the dinner table, and it's a nice getting together, and people are talking about their day, and the mom has an announcement. Then everything is wonderful. Everything is beautiful. Of course, the couple is kind of like, you know, they're not really there anymore. They're they're take completely taken over by evil. Some At some point, you say, I don't want to spoil it. Go see it. Go see it. During dinner... That's when everything blows open, squashed in quite a quick hurry, so to speak. But what happens is that the entire, the rest of the family become subjugated. The whole movie is basically in the house, <clears throat> and this family, the father and and the, the grown up brother and sister and the younger kid, well, you know, they they all they are all of them get subjugated to this torture spree by these demonically possessed people. It's as if The Conjuring met a Rob Zombie movie, and it just didn't really work out. First of all, I understand it's a horror movie. I understand the shock value, and don't get me wrong. You know, the initial kills in this film, especially the first one, was definitely a shocker and was definitely something to be like, oh, my God, you know, about I, I give it that much, but... The way it played out for the rest of the movie was almost like, are you kidding me, really? I mean, you know, like, I understand that this is make-believe and this is just a movie. But one of the good things, one of the cool things about horror is that you can attempt to try to ascribe at least a little bit of of a realistic approach from from that kind of, from a situation that, that kind of calls for it. This family handled what happened to them pretty well, considering. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. And I'm not saying they didn't suffer. They suffered. Oh, yeah, they, they suffered. They went through the ringer throughout this film because the whole movie is them going through the ringer. The whole, that's, the, that's the movie. That's the movie. A couple gets possessed, going to the house, next door, torments family. If you're into that kind of stuff, if you're into, like, torture horror, <laughs> then you probably, 
get more of that from this film than you will the whole demonically possessed horror because that's not really here. It's there, and you do see it, but it's not like really supernatural. There's no real supernatural occurrence aside from the glowing orbs. All I'm saying is that I really didn't like this movie. I only give it one coffee cup. I felt it was... I, it could have had potential if it was done right, but I think the writing was kind of like not thought out thoroughly, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. I could be completely, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a master at this, but I'm just telling you my feeling of it. Like I had to stop the movie and come back to it and finish it because I felt like I needed more patience. I had to go like buy it at the store. And come back and say, okay, I got enough patience now. I got my patience. Let's finish watching the movie. I finished watching the movie. It was done. So, look, if you guys want to see hosts, there's two hosts in, in, in Shudder. One is a good one, and it's a short film. I reviewed it during the summer. Um, it's just called Host, singular. This one is called Hosts, plural. Hosts, plural, is the one I just gave one coffee cup to. So, if you really want to get a sense of what this movie really is, just if you have a Shutter account, go check it out. After you're done doing that, talk to me and comment below and share with me what you think. I, for one, will never see this movie again. I don't want to waste my time. It's stupid. I didn't like it. I'm sorry to the directors for this. Maybe they'll make something else. Maybe other people like it. Maybe they're looking at me. That's the thing about horror. That's the wonderful thing about horror. It's like one group of people will hate it, another, another group of people all of a sudden will have a cult following. This movie might have a cult following, and I don't even know it yet. Okay? It, 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 that's just how horror works, and that's a wonderful thing, actually. So kudos to those who thought this movie really struck at home and was like, wow, that was a good, scary movie. Personally, for me, it just didn't fall that way with me. It kind of fell flat. Ralph Perez, Horror and Coffee. Till next time, take care.